is it necessary to use contact mode for biofeedback scans? No, it's not. Um, many people use spooky remotes to apply the frequencies. The person who is having the biofeedback um, scan performed on them still must be close to the computer because they've got to provide their pulse to the spooky pulse. Um, so they've got to be still here, but the frequencies don't need to be applied through hand cylinders or TENS pads. You can use spooky remotes to apply the frequencies. And it's possibly a very clever way of doing it because a uh, spooky remote, uh, sometimes in the very low frequencies, you can feel the tingling in the hand cylinders. Spooky remote, you can't feel the frequencies. And so it may be a, 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 you know, a better way of applying the frequencies. Um, one word of um, note, though, spooky remote tends to be a slower way for frequencies to have an effect on your body. So if you do use your spooky remote, it might pay to ensure that your um, the step size in the scan is very low. Now we'll be covering that very shortly.